Hi guys, it's Rampant FM, and today we continue our KNB Flights play with a game against Arbroath. Uh, one of the lesser teams, really. We are flying high at top of the league. So I've made a few changes to the team. Some of the sort of backup players will get a chance. Mark Hill's in for Alan Campbell, Daniel Finlayson's playing, and Archie Mayer in goals. I kind of uh, never really stuck to this the sort of uh, first season. I kind of sort of let slide a wee bit. I forgot to play some players. I think Jamie Baronis got kind of a wee bit sort of fed up that I wasn't playing them. I tried to, but again, it's that whole FM thing where you have to sort of play your better players. So hopefully I can get away with it in League One. We're obviously trying to develop all the players, but we're also trying to keep everyone happy in terms of dynamics. And obviously, with all the bigger teams coming in wanting my players, I'm, you know, it's trying to find the balance, really. And hopefully we can do that. Hopefully we can still give the the sort of backup players a game while obviously keeping the bigger players happy as well. But despite playing sort of backup players, I'm still expecting a win here. Arbroath are not really doing too well while we're top of the league and we want to keep pushing that. And Frank Ross gets his first ever goal for Cowden Beef. And are we getting to see it? I don't believe we got to see that. I'm not actually sure why. I think it's maybe the tactics. Uh, sorry about that. That's the only thing nippy about FM. You can't sometimes uh, see the goal if you're uh, changing the tactics, which is really annoying. But we're 1-0 up. We'll need to keep pressing. Yeah, I'm quite happy how the save's gone. We're still quite early into the season, so I'm not going to look too much at the games. We're going to be going back into the Fife derbies. I think I mentioned it before, the Scottish uh, games, I, I don't really want to play too many because obviously we're playing the same teams, you know, three times a season. Our both are actually playing pretty well against us, so we're really hoping to dominate. We'll, I'll probably bring on a few changes, sort of the second half time, but we'll see how it goes. I'm oh, just having a wee look at that. Uh, yeah, we're doing well, it's just encourage. And some of them are not really lusting. So yeah, um, uh, how do we look at the dynamics actually? Should we bring changes on now? Just go with our opposition instructions. Yeah, we. Uh, I've had a look at the dynamics, obviously some of the, the better players like Aitchison, uh, Baronis, they actually have a really decent rapport with me actually, they really are close with me. Some of the other players, obviously uh, Jamie Brandon, if you guys haven't been watching the series from the start, he does not like me. He's probably the only player that sort of isn't really I'm not in his favourite personnel plus obviously some of the B players but yeah I, I really don't like Jamie Brandon either so <laughs> um, I think it was all down to that whole thing he wanted to leave for I think it was Partick Thistle and I wouldn't let him go I mean I still play him but yeah he's, he, I just don't really like him he's a pain in the arse to be honest we'll make another change Simple. I, I quite like Simple, but obviously uh, Rudden's been playing really well. And we'll get a change at right back, as well, sorry, left back as well. Yeah, oh, kind of too soon. So, yeah, our both are really kind of pressing us. I don't want this to be a draw. We have some, some issues, obviously, playing sometimes. I'm just going to look at the opposition instructions again. I'm really just hoping for the best. Hopefully we can win. I have played, obviously, as I said, the B squad, so, and we really should be beating our broth. I'm really just hoping for a promotion to the championship. I think once we're in the championship, that'll be a real test of where the team is, and then obviously we're hopefully get to the SPL. And I really want to be challenging the likes of uh, Celtic, Rangers, and Aberdeen. We were kind of hammered by Celtic in the cup, but that's a few seasons away. A few seasons away it gives the times uh, the players time to develop, and everything's looking all right. I believe our both have had their chances. Uh, yeah, so we're top of the league, and we're doing pretty well. Sterling's kind of dropped off after we did defeat them, which is really good. Quite happy with that, and. We are going into the next games, into the, back into the Fife Derbies against uh, Rafe and East Fife. So hopefully we can 
actually get a win rather than a draw with them. Rafe are really nippy, I think that was one of the games that they injured three of my strikers. They injured Aitchison, Zach Rudden and Semple who also came on. We had to play against 10 men and they scored obviously in the 90th minute. So we were properly FM'd, so it would be really good to get revenge against them. Uh, we're still in the Iron Brew Cup and we are still obviously in the Scottish Cup so we'll try and get as far as we can. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to have a wee look at Aberdeen again and see if I can get another few players on loan if we are end up struggling in January. I think I might have to break my rules in terms of when we're in the Championship. I might have to because the 20-man squad I feel is kind of inadequate. We've obviously got Frank Ross on loan but if he turns out good for us then there's you know Aberdeen might want to keep him. But then again, hopefully we'll get better youth players coming in as well. So that's, you know, things to look out for. So it's a boring one though when, yep, the five derbies are coming up next. I'm kind of dreading them because obviously I've not actually won one in 90 minutes. Pretty all right team performance really. I'll uh, do it myself since the assistant never gets it right. And there we go. So that's the episode guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new. We'll obviously be coming back for those five derbies against, uh, I believe, Rafe might be first, then East Fife. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for that guys.